I'll see if anybody shows up. everyone don't see anybody out there if you're there say something some of you may have seen my previous video where I was using a face shield that made me <laughs> that made me look like a cone head well, now this one doesn't make me look like a cone head. This one makes me look like I'm going to w weld something on you, or perhaps I'm going to come at you with a dental drill. But I must say, I kind of like it. <laughs> now, when people come into church and I come at them with the temperature gun, I'm going to look like something out of a Star Wars movie, or at least out of a cheap comedy. But I do like this. It's got plenty of room between the face and the shield. It's a, this is a special anti-fog, anti-scratch lens. It cost a couple dollars more to get that. But the whole thing was like 35 bucks. It has adjustable, adjustable headgear. Very comfortable, extremely comfortable. Uh, it can be worn over a hat, over a hard hat, over, you know, that kind of thing, or it can just be worn like I'm wearing it, over a bald head. And this moves very easily. You know, once you get it on right, you get the fit just right. Then this thing moves real easy. You know, just a finger. Okay, and I have plenty of room. You can adjust the room, between the amount of space between your face and the shield. There's a knob for doing that, so you can have it out further or in further, which makes it nice. Uh, no, no problem with breathing, talking, nothing like that. Um, very much, much more comfortable than a, than a cloth mask or anything like that. So. Uh, I'll try this out tomorrow at the door when people come for weekday mass. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I think, yes, Abuna Moses, yes, I'm going to do a little bit of welding on dental work. I'm going to do dental work as people come into church. Whitney Johnson, thank you. I think it's pretty awesome, really, too. 35 bucks, and this is really well made. It's extremely comfortable. This is more comfortable than, than, than a hat. It's really, really nice. It's cushioned inside. This is nice, very nice stuff. It's got, it's got adjustment knobs at the back and on the sides. It's just really a nice thing. Um, I got interested in it because when, when I was looking online, I, I saw a person who used this when they were giving COVID tests. That's what they use, that's what the testers used. And so I thought, oh, okay, well, that might be kind of nice because uh, some people are, you know, they're uncomfortable if the person greeting them at the door is not wearing a mask. Um, the way I am, I'd be more uncomfortable if I went someplace and the person greeting at the door was wearing a mask. I am one of these Maybe it's, a fun, maybe it's because of my age, but I like to see who I'm talking to. And so I automatically have a little bit of a negative issue when I'm talking to a person and all I can see is that. It bothers me. So for me, talking to a person wearing this, I would have very little problem other than to wonder what, what planet they were from or uh, you know, if they were gonna drill my teeth. But I do like this, very comfortable, good price, good quality, and I will give it a try tomorrow um, and see if anyone takes one look at me, gets back in their car and leaves church. Um, we'll see how it goes. So anyway, 
Uh, it's called OmniShield. And you can contact them. There's the contact information, Lincoln Electric Company. And it's at www.lincolnelectric.com. And they're in Cleveland, Ohio. So Cleveland, Ohio, you don't have to worry that the name's going to change. At least so far, they haven't come out with the fact that the Cleveland was a racist. Oh, my God, I've started something. Anyway, uh, so if you're interested, go online and get you an OmniShield, 35 bucks. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. That's where I got mine. So I paid 35 and got free shipping and all that fun stuff. And I really like it. This I'm very pleased with this. This this I would wear. And uh, we'll see how things go tomorrow. Everyone take care. Have a lovely evening. And uh, don't tear down any statues. Bye.